Hello and welcome to another AIC Productions video. Today, if you can't tell, I am super excited. Here in orange, you have my Spadger electric skateboard. It's a Meepo clone. In fact, it even has a Meepo battery in it because I had to replace the battery because the original battery died. I love this skateboard. I have over a thousand miles on it. However, it has one major flaw. That is the wheels and the motors. So where I live, in the corner of the square mile I live in, the roads are very smooth and very easy to ride this on. If I leave my neighborhood at all, the roads become very rough and very unpleasant to ride on. In fact, almost impossible to ride on. They're really bad. So I did a lot of research, asked questions online, and then ignored all of that and bought myself a new skateboard. We're going to unbox it. So let me rearrange the camera and grab the box. Let's take a look. All right, so all the suggestions online, when I asked if there was an AT board that you could get for under $1,000 that was good, basically the answer I got was no. Unfortunately, I don't have more than $1,000, and so I bought this, which is probably one of the cheapest quote-unquote AT boards you can buy. And so it's a Yiku GT. Now they sell the GTS, which is slightly less expensive, but I went with the GT for two, re three reasons. One, it, the cheaper version of it had a better battery than the more expensive version of the GTS. Two, it has two separate things for the battery and the um, electronics. So I hopefully will give me a little bit more flex where the GTS is one solid thing, and the reviews I read online said it was very stiff. So there were no reviews of the GT when I bought this uh, online. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now, I did order this over a month ago at this point, oh, and it is double boxed, which is good for shipping. It came from China, so it took a month to get here. So if you're looking to get a board and you are not willing to wait, do not buy this board because of the time it took for this to show up. There we go. I can unbox stuff, I promise. This yellow tape they, they use in China is hilarious to me. It's on everything you get from China. I don't know what's special about yellow tape there. Alrighty. Oh man. So, it is heavy. There is the board. The only thing special is you got two options of wheel color choices. You get black or orange. I bought orange just because I thought it would be fun. These are not pneumatic tires. They are solid tires. They have these holes in them to allow for flex in the wheel. They are, I believe, six inch wheels. They are massive. Look at that battery pack. So just a comparison of the two boards. See the size difference between the battery packs is ginormous. That's ridiculous. And the wheel size difference. The board's a little bit longer, so it is bigger in every way than my Spadger. Let's see what comes in the box in addition to the board. Alright. 
you get the charger and cable and micro USB for the remote. It's very similar in style to my other remote. Got some lights on there, battery charge, wireless connection. Then we have cheap skate tool. And I believe one thing about this board is it comes with a spare set of belts and 90 millimeter wheels with extra pulleys so you can switch to um, better bearings fell out of that too. Uh, you can switch to normal wheels so depending on what you're riding and how you want to ride you have different wheels so that's an unboxing that's what it comes with nothing else in the box but we will definitely be plugging this in letting it charge up and giving it a go seeing how it rides um, I actually start a new job here uh, this next week and my goal is to be able to ride this to the bus station and be able to ride the bus into work so I can get rid of my car. So, anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section down below. Do my best to answer those. And I hope you have an amazing day.